let's go head to head with Wild Poker Tour commentator, Mike Sexton. I'm here on Inside Poker with Poker's greatest ambassador, Mike Sexton. And I'm gonna ask you some short questions, one word questions, and I would like to know how they relate to you in poker. Fear. Fear. Well, I don't have as much fear now as I used to, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Luck. Luck, certainly a part, you know, of poker that's a great aspect of poker, I might add. You know, one hand, one tournament, luck is a big factor, no doubt about it. Tradition. Tradition, I'm a big traditionalist in poker. You know, I appreciate the guys that came before us, and I think all players should. Style. Style, well, I like people that behave with class, you know, and I think that's the way you should conduct yourself at the table. How about poker style? What's your poker style? My poker style as a player, well, I consider myself a, you know, a moderately aggressive uh, kind of player, I suppose. Do you think people have had to adjust uh, to become more aggressive to win these big events? Uh, no question about it. The guys that are firing the chips at the pot are the guys winning the millions out here on the World Poker Tour. Sizing up your competitor. Very important. I mean, I think knowing your opponent, not a bigger factor in poker. Location, like aesthetics, does that mean anything to you? You know, I think it does maybe when you first sit down and come into the environment, but once the players sit down and play the first hand at the environment with the lights and all that, it's really just poker. So I don't think it bothers them once you get into the game. It's a little intimidating for the first time you've ever made it down here at a final table on the World Poker Tour or a big televised event. But, you know, once you get into playing the game, the game is the same. Failure. Well, failure, if you play tournament poker, you're going to have more than your share of failure, no doubt about it, and I don't care who you are, and you got to deal with it. Doug Brunson told me that every great poker player has been broke. Do you believe in that? Well, you know, I would say that most poker players get broke. You know, what happens invariably to a lot of players, they win a big-time tournament, and they think they're a better player than they are, so they step up in class, play the higher stakes games, and invariably lose their money again. So, you know, you learn over time. You know, you got to learn from your mistakes, and certainly money management is a big part of that. Bluff. Well, bluffing, I say if you're a low limit poker player, just take it and throw it out of your arsenal. But if you play tournaments or high stakes poker, bluffing is an art and a science and you definitely need it if you want to get to the winner's circle. So you're playing for a million dollars in the last hand. Would you rather win it on a bluff or would you rather win it with the best hand? All poker players would rather win a pot by bluffing. <laughs> Earning a pot when the other opponent has the best cards, that gives you the best feeling as a player. Making a play at the right time. Uh, characters in the game. We certainly have very unique characters in the poker world, you know, especially, you know, we see unique characters all the time in poker. Tonight at a final table here at the Bellagio's uh, Five Diamond World Poker Classic, Phil Locke, a.k.a. the Unabomber, certainly has a lot of flair at the table. Doyle Brunson has his own style. I mean, players have their own style, and they are characters, no doubt about it. Do you feel some of the uh, lesser or the great players that have less character are slighted in some of these events? Honestly, I do feel like the players that may not have character that behave perfectly at the table, for example, just like you would want somebody to if you ran a poker room. You know, I do think these players aren't getting airtime as they should, you know. Unfortunately, the way television is, it's the guys that are screaming and hollering, you know, fighting with their opponents, running around the table, rolling on the floor. These are the guys that are getting airtime. And, you know, I'm a poker guy, not a television guy. So, to me, I prefer poker decor rather than television decor, but unfortunately, the producers of all these shows would much rather see the animated players. I'm gonna throw a couple names at you and see, tell me your uh, reaction to them. Phil Helmuth. Phil Helmuth, you know. Unfortunately, Phil never thinks he's supposed to lose a pot when he plays poker, and it comes across at the table, but when it comes to playing the game, let me tell you, he's right at the top of the list. Daniel Negreanu. Daniel Negreanu, I think, is terrific for poker. I mean, he relays and answers questions to the low-limit guys as well as the high-stakes guys. Been very good in giving back to the poker world, as I call it, and a sensational player. Phil Ivey. Phil Ivey, I think, is the calmest, coolest young guy that we have in the poker world today. I truly think this guy is going to be one of the great legends of poker all time in history. He has got game and style. Gus Hansen. Gus Hansen has a flair to poker that you know, as a fan, you know, I'm like everybody else when it comes to watching a poker table. I mean, probably the number one guy you would want to see at a final table is Gus Hansen because you know you're going to have a great event. I mean, you know, this guy has imagination, as we call it in the poker world, above and beyond his peers. You know, he really can read opponents well. That's why he can play all these wild hands that he plays because he knows what to do after the flop and on the turn and when he can take a pot away from an opponent. And the guy really has a sensational flair at poker. Last name, Mike Sexton. Mike Sexton, well, 
You know, I'm, I used to be a bit of a player in my day, you know, and still play the events when I get a chance to. You know, I love the game, love the competition, and, uh, you know, certainly I've always considered myself a player first and commentator second. Now, maybe it's time for me to change that, but, <laughs> you know, that's in my heart. That's what I believe. Thanks again, Mike. Okay, we'll be right back with more Inside Poker.